Okay, folks, welcome back to another Budget Gen More Budget Bust. Today I have got... This is in Deja Vu. I've got the VFL Audio Comp 2K in for a dyno test. And some of you at home are probably saying, I've already seen that test. Why do I need to see it again? Well, you know, this is a quickie series. And, you know, looking back at that original test, there are parts of that that I felt like were incomplete in terms of information. Um, we didn't have the voltage numbers. We didn't have the efficiency numbers. And quite frankly, I, I kind of learned from then to now that the old power supplies I used to use, which I don't even use them anymore, uh, they don't even really put out 14.4 volts. They were 14.3 and under heavy load and only using them uh, for a power supply, they would drop into the 13s. And I don't know how far um, the voltage actually dropped on this test. So and I was pretty harsh on this amp at that time, and you know, looking back at it, could it have actually done more? And it got me curious. It just so happened to be that these went on special loaded distributor that I use. And I said, you know what? Let's pick up another one and let's find out for sure what this will do when we give it a perfect environment. We're gonna give it 14.4 volts at the end where it's at the most strenuous, and we're gonna find out what does it really do? So, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do efficiency, etc. We don't need to unbox it, we've already done that before, so let's just uh, jump right into these tests, and uh, I'll see you with the results. Okay, we just saw the results, and yes, uh, this thing performs a lot better. We must have had a pretty considerable voltage sag 
um, the last time because we got well over our numbers on every ohm load. Um, we can now do an effective certified versus uncertified tests unlike before on the old setup. So I think we've got a lot more accurate numbers now on this. And okay, it's still not a 2K amp. Um, as you saw, certified, we got just about 1,770 watts, which is, it's, it's good for 250, 260 bucks. That, that's Korean made high quality amplifier. That's, that's good. Um, uncertified, we just got a shade under 2,000. And we still got a shade under 2,000 dynamic. So, I mean, it's close to being a 2K. It's close. It's a lot better than what I thought it was. So, you know, is this a budget gem or budget bust for real? Well, previously I'd said it was a bust. Um, because it didn't come in under the cost per watt aspect uncertified well now if you say at 13.6 cents per watt times the 1900 plus watts we had uncertified uh, we get about 269 dollars and that is the reference number that this need, needs to stay under to be considered a budget gem it does it so we are officially changing the ratings of the VFL audio comp 2k from a bust to a gem so okay i like this amp it sounds decent you saw some of those dynamic half ohm or 0.67 ohms and 0.8 ohms um really solid power the amp stays cool as a cucumber it is built well i mean these are built by s and i over in korea um so it is a good amp it is the same amp as a scar skv2 1500 so those are also recognized as being a pretty good amp. So, yeah, I will now recommend this amp. So, good job. If you guys need a 1500 to 1800 watt amp, don't be afraid to look at the VFL Audio Comp 2K. It's also pretty darn efficient. So, that's it for me. Hope you liked the video. I got a lot more amps to test. I'll see you next time.